Hey, what's up everybody? Paflin here from smartpassiveincome.com and in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick demo of ConvertKit, a brand new email service provider that I've started using that I've fallen in love with. And the reason is because, well, it sends emails and allows you to build your email list like many other tools, but ConvertKit is special because one, it is extremely easy to use and set up. It's beautifully designed. Nathan Barry, the creator, is a UX or user experience designer and he's made it incredibly easy to understand. Number two, the statistics are incredible. It allows you to see exactly what's going on within all your campaigns and all your forums and all your broadcasts. It's really easy to understand. Number three, and my favorite, are the advanced features that come along with ConvertKit for your email marketing, such as segmentation and tagging, which a lot of other tools have, but they're more expensive and they're more complicated to use. ConvertKit makes it extremely easy. So let me take a few moments and show you around. All right, so here we are inside ConvertKit, and you'll notice right here at the top a section called Subscribers, which gives you a quick snapshot of what's going on in terms of the growth of your subscriber base. So for example, today I've had uh, 79 subscribers, over the last week, over the last 30 days, and in total how many I have. So that's really great to see, quick and easy. But also this bar graph here has become very handy for me actually. And I love this because not only does it allow me to see certain trends, for example, that spike there, which corresponds with a brand new lead magnet that I just came out with, but also if I hover over the different colored sections of this bar graph, I can see exactly what forms are driving the subscribers into my email list that particular day. So for example, the large chunk here is email the smart way, which is that lead magnet that I came out with that particular day, like I said. Same thing for the next day. And so you can notice certain trends and see exactly where those people are coming from and what forums people are going into uh, to subscribe to your list, which is really handy. Down here, you'll notice a section called forms. And this is where you can create opt-in forms and then embed them on your website. And it also has a really nice way of keeping track of the stats for you for each of those forms too. So for example, this form here called book club, which is where people can subscribe to become a part of my book club and get my book club emails. This particular form has seen 2,775 visitors. It has been subscribed to 915 times and has a 33% conversion rate, which is pretty cool. And like the bar graph above, I can hover over just the bottom part here. You'll notice this is colored and is actually a line graph too, showing me just what has been happening over the last few days in terms of the number of subscribers which is really, really cool and handy. Now I wanna walk you through what it's like to create a form real fast. Now you could also create a landing page which is fully hosted by ConvertKit, but for now we're gonna create a form that you can embed anywhere on your website. You can customize the copy here, you can add your own images and description, but for now let's go into the settings. And there's a lot of options here, I'm gonna name this really fast. Let's for example say this is for your start here page. And the cool thing about this is you can redirect people to another page quite simply, just by pasting a link there. But most importantly, what I love most about this particular option here in ConvertKit is you can have people subscribe to a particular course through this specific form. So a course by ConvertKit's definition is essentially a sequence of emails that you've set up. And I have a number of those already set up. I'll show you those, I'll show you those in just a second. But when you set those up, those become options here. So when people subscribe through this form, I want them to go into my level zero nurture list or course. For example, those are people who are just starting out and I know if they subscribe on the Start Here page, I can put them directly into that particular email sequence that is specific for them. I can also have an incentive email. So for example, this is what is traditionally called a double opt-in. Now what's cool about this is you could actually upload a file that people get immediately. So if you have a lead magnet, for example, when people subscribe to get an ebook or something like that, you can upload that file and the act of people downloading that file, which comes in that first email, becomes their way of confirming themselves onto that list. So if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But again, this just makes it really simple for you to have people confirm their email because they get this email, it says, hey, just make sure, wanna make sure you're human. Well, here's that download link. And when they click on that download link, which is actually a button in that email, it confirms them for you. So you actually save a step there too, which is really cool. You can change the styling and you can also embed it on your website. This is where you get the embed code. There's also a WordPress plugin that makes it easy for you to, to do that too. You can create a Twitter card if you know how to do that, and there are other options to duplicate the form if you wanna put it on another page and just have it be able to keep track of the stats on that page. You can archive it if you're done with it, and you can also delete it too, which is what I'm gonna do now. Now the last thing I wanna show you related to the forms, and actually I just noticed that I've collected a few more subscribers since we started this recording, which is pretty cool. But I'm gonna click on this form here because it'll show me some more information about the stats related to this particular form. So if I click on subscribers here at the top, 
what you'll end up seeing is some more stats. So you've already seen these. These, these are what's shown on the dashboard there. But I also see my top referring websites too. So I understand now which other websites are driving traffic and subscribers to this particular form, which is super powerful. So I can see that a lot of people are coming in from my resource page, from patflynn.com. Uh, actually, that's that's the number one thing. Unknown, which is probably a, a, a private Google user, for example, um, a particular post on Smart Passive Income and also Google. Again, some really cool stats that other email service providers don't really show you or make it very difficult to find. Okay, so here we are back on the dashboard and I wanna show you now the courses section, which is where you can create different email sequences for different purposes. So for example, I have different email sequences based on the different types of people I, who I know are in my audience. So level zero, for example, are people who have yet to start an online business and I have a specific email sequence for them. It lasts currently 42 days with nine emails. So it's essentially nine emails that span across 42 days. And you can see a lot of the stats here too, which makes it very easy to see what's going on. So 11,000 plus subscribers with an open rate of 58.7%, 9.7% click-through rate, and 614 unsubscribes. But let's get into this and show you exactly what's going on inside. So here are each of the emails that go out. This one is immediately after subscription, four days after, nine days after. You can set these to however many days you want. And all these emails go out. Again, these are nine emails across the span of 42 days. And what's really cool is you can easily see these sequences. You can rearrange them if you want. People don't get double emails ever. And you can add new emails to the sequences and the editor is just really easy to use. And it just makes it so simple. I don't know why other email service providers aren't like this. But here's the really cool part. I'm gonna click on reports up here on the upper right-hand corner and you, can, you get to see some of the magic of what I love most about ConvertKit. So I'm gonna clear that, click on reports. And this shows me exactly with each of these emails that I've created, the open rate for each of them, the click-through rate, and the number of sends, and the num number of unsubscribes. So I can quickly see if there are any anomalies, which ones to address, if there are any ones that are, for some odd reason, there is a lot of unsubscribers, like for example, this one, uh, I might be able to address that and change that. It also gives me some, some of the quick stats that I mentioned earlier there, but just this is so easy to see what's going on. So again, it just, I love this. Now there are other settings you can do too. For example, when these emails go out, what time, you can exclude particular subscribers from getting this course. So for example, if people are already customers, I don't necessarily have to have them go through a nurture uh, sequence, which tries to sell them stuff that they've already purchased. So that makes it really easy here. I can exclude based on different tags, other courses people are in, forms they subscribe through, and that sort of thing. So that's that. I'm gonna cancel because I don't wanna change anything. Same thing here with level one nurture. This is uh, currently eight emails in the span of 35 days. And same thing with the reports. I can get a quick snapshot of what's going on, what the click-through rates are, and all that sort of stuff. So again, very, very simple and very easy to use. Now I'm gonna click here on broadcast to show you exactly where the broadcast emails go out. And these are emails that you send out at a particular moment in time, like right now or whenever you'd like. Of course, it gives you some great statistics on previous broadcasts that you've sent. You can also view reports of those particular broadcasts too, and you can also send to unopens. So people who have not opened it, you can just click a one button to resend to those unopens. I know a lot of people who like to use that particular tool. It's kind of a hack in other email service providers that a lot of people use. Well, this one is just a simply, you just push a button and that's it. Now let's go back to broadcast and create a new broadcast. There's a lot of things you can do here. You can select which people you want to receive it. For example, let's say I'm sending an email out to people who are I know are future podcasters and I, I wanna make sure I exclude people that are in level zero nurture. So I wanna, I wanna send these to people who say that they're going to start a podcast. They haven't started one yet. I know that because I've collected that information based off of tags that I've had people self-select into over time. I'll show you exactly how that works in the automation section in just a sec. But I don't wanna send to people who are just starting out because I don't wanna overwhelm them. So that's that. So I'm gonna hit next step. And then I get to do my email here, uh, my copy. I can select from a template or I can create one if I'd like and I can uh, test this email out if I want. I could send it to a particular email to get a preview. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. Everything in the broadcast area is pretty straightforward. But again, the powerful part is quickly and easily being able to send to particular segments and excluding particular segments. So I'm actually gonna delete this email because I don't wanna send an email out right now. 
Okay, next let's click on subscribers to get some more information about those who are on my email list. Now, the most useful part here are these tags. This is where you can create new tags and be able to start to define different parts of your audience based off of certain interests or what they've done or actions that they've taken. For example, I could see there are 5,000 people who are in my book club, so whenever I have a book club email, we just send to that particular tag. There are people who are interested in a weekend digest, over 11,000 of them actually, who want to get a summary of my content every weekend. I've also tagged people based on interests. So, uh, for example, this one here, email marketing. These are people I've tagged as being interested in email marketing based off of a particular form that they've gone into, which is the one for that lead magnet that I talked about earlier, email the smart way. Now I have 10,000 people who are tagged as being interested in email marketing. So if I come out with a course in the future or if I have a course to promote that I'm an affiliate for that involves email marketing, I can just quickly say, hey, ConvertKit, send this email to these tags or these people who are tagged with being interested in email marketing. And I know what to say. And I could say, hey, thank you for downloading email the smart way. Check out this new thing. And there's some other tags here too. Uh, the other cool thing about the subscriber section here is actually I can click on a particular subscriber and get some information about them. For, for example, if I click on this one, I can see that this person subscribed on this particular form. I can see that this is the email that they've received already, that they've uh, got it delivered, and you can also see which ones they've clicked on or haven't opened yet. And you can also see what tags they've been added to, and you can also add them to new tags and also delete them from here too. All right and I've saved the best for last, let's talk about these automations. This is something that other email service providers either leave out completely or make really hard to execute, which then you don't end up using them anyway. But ConvertKit, like everything else, makes it super easy. So to show you, I'm just gonna click on Add Rule. Don't worry about this other stuff. It all makes sense in just a second. I'm gonna click Plus Add Rule. And quite simply, you can see here on the left-hand side, when this event happens, there's a number of different things that can happen below, this action happens. And again, the way this is set up just makes it really easy to understand. So for example, if somebody subscribes to a form and I select the book club form, I can add a tag to that person, which is the book club tag. Very easy. If people click on a particular link that I wanna put in an email. So for example, if that link is uh, HTTP smart, passiveincome.com slash session 41, which is about affiliate marketing. This is uh, session 41, affiliate marketing. I can have them tagged as being interested in affiliate marketing, which allows me to collect more information about them. So for example, the email might be about affiliate marketing. If they wanna learn more, click on this link. So let's get rid of that. Uh, if people have a tag added, they can remove themselves from another tag. So if people are tagged as subscribing to one course, I can untag them from another. So they stop getting those, those emails. If somebody becomes a customer, so let's say somebody purchases a product and right now I have it just integrated with Gumroad. Uh, if somebody purchases the smart podcast player, I can uh, remove a tag. So I can remove the uh, smart podcast player interested tag, which takes them off of that email sequence, which then tries to sell them that product that, they, that they've already purchased. So again, like I said, there's a lot of different things you can do here. Um, there, there's also the digest email you can set up if a new RSS post comes out, you can have it send a, or create a broadcast draft that then you can send out. Uh, let's see, what else could you do here? If, um, if, if they complete a course, let's say you have a seven day email course, if they complete that and they get to the very end, then you can have them unsubscribe from something or subscribe to a completely new course or add a tag as being completed and then you can send them new stuff. And there's, again, so many things you can do and ConvertKit is adding new things every day to make the email marketing experience better. I found so much success already through using ConvertKit and I recommend it for you if you're just starting out even because a lot of these features which used to be very difficult to use and understand, like you can see here, ConvertKit makes it extremely easy 